Hello, and in this video I'm building a Dutch housing project. Now I got the idea of this from a uh, Dutch infrastructure slash housing project sort of um, group that I followed on Twitter and uh, it's built on a uh, old dock which the uh, Netherlands has a lot of and you could see in the cinematics that around the dock I left in like the old style imagining that they would be replaced with uh, housing projects and in the future like this was like a middle one that could be done now and then the rest will be done in the future it was um a different sort of build I suppose to what I normally do it was very green uh, this came uh, I built this just after green cities and uh, subsequently this time lapse is also bad like it's a low low res compared to my older ones because dynamic resolution wasn't working but the cinematics are uh, more higher res but I use the new green sort of uh, wall hangers they're okay uh, they could be better they're, they're a bit low res when you zoom up to them uh, but they're okay they fill a lot of space and they make the building wall look very green and full of life sort of so I'm using uh, Lost Gecko's buildings with uh, I believe those are King Leno's American style uh, townhouses the ones with car, car parks out front they look very Dutch in my opinion uh, apart from the car parking out, out front which was a bit of a pain I sort of had to hide them under decals to get it to look correct so what I did was I got the basic uh, layout for the uh, pier or uh, key and then I used the uh, the roads to mark it out and also was trying to get some bridges here with them slightly raised I was trying to make them very small but in the end it didn't really work them being that small so I had to uh, tighten everything up move it all close together and make the bridges a bit longer otherwise they were just impossible to get a boat through basically and impossible for the water to get through so it was just tend to pull up at the um, the entrance which was a bit a bit bad so in the uh, image on Twitter they had this sort of lowered plaza out front of the of these buildings so I use move it and I use the um, these roads here to just make a sort of lowered plaza area now it's way too big at the moment uh, it's huge so I end up removing those roads on either side and basically just doing it the width of the actual buildings themselves because these uh, piers tend to be fairly small um, the only problem is within city skylines small things t don't really not they don't know necessarily not exist but it's very hard to go on such a scale because the game wasn't built for such things uh, like all the roads are way too big compared to real life and buildings tend to be a bit different weird and too wide and it's just difficult to get things to be the right scale when everything else is so off so everything just tends to be a tiny bit bigger than in real life it's not too bad but if you're trying to copy something uh, from an image or from Google Maps it can look off and can look strange so right here I'm trying to get all the roads connected and make them all level with one another to then attach this uh, wall here I did go with uh, King Leno's walls but the only problem is that they t they conform to the terrain uh, which isn't really what I wanted I wanted to raise it slightly so what I had to do was raise the actual terrain underneath to raise the walls which is a bit of an a bit annoying um, obviously they terrain conforming is very nice to have but it would also be nice to be able to turn terrain conforming stuff off 
or just have the option to build both. Because there's so many projects where I want to use a wall, but it conforms to the terrain and just messes everything up, which is a bit annoying. So we skipped ahead a bit to where I'm constructing the uh, front part, and I use uh, Spark's new, I believe they're planter, they're meant to be planter props, but I use them as a, uh, a wall because they just got a different texture to what I usually use, and it looked a, a bit different. I also use these uh, stairs, which are from Sparks, and sort of create a sunken uh, stairway down to the water. Because I, I add a lot of boats and uh, dinghies and stuff. I imagine people that would live in this area would probably own a boat uh, or would probably own like a kayak or something. And there's places to launch and places to dock your boat right at the um, at your front door. There's probably not enough for every building, but then not every building, not every person could own a boat. Uh, they tend to be expensive. So I create this sort of uh, steps design with the uh, planter blocks from from Sparks and then use proper asphalt on top to allow me to use decals on top of a flat surface. Otherwise, if I just put decals on those road uh, surfaces, it could have been a bit off and a bit, a bit weird. And the stairs didn't line up perfectly with the middle. So I moved them to the left and then realised that uh, I moved them too far to the left. So I had to move them back to the right again, which means doing a lot of tweaking and stuff. But in the end, you couldn't really tell that I moved it to the left and to the right. It didn't look any different. Here I'm just looking for some stairs so I can uh, do the stairs from the slightly raised part to the... Uh, to the lower sort of plaza area, shared plaza. So now we get on to basically sticking solar panels on all the roofs of all the buildings. So I use these two different solar panels. They're not the best uh, texture and they're not the best model, but they're the ones that fit these sort of, sort of slope buildings. Um, I did think after that I probably should have tried uh, Jaren's solar panels, because uh, he made some really good ones, but I had completely forgot that he made them. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I just ended up using these they were a tiny bit bright, but they were okay for what I needed them to do, and they looked pretty pretty nice. So all the buildings along here, or the majority of them, have solar panels, because I imagine this, uh, this is a fairly new project, so there's a lot of uh, eco-friendly buildings and a lot of uh, more greener buildings to fill in the area. So as you can see, I have uh, put decals onto the uh, sunken plaza. I didn't really like the red of that decal it's maybe a bit too dark for what I wanted so I do end up changing that uh, in the future to a slightly lighter color red and I don't like how light it is problem is there's no real middle ground which sucks a bit I'm also creating these uh, planters with benches on either side and I just stick in the middle I stick some trees and some shrubs just to fill in that space, make it look more lush and green. I also use a ton of uh, lily pads. The main reason I use these was because they were in the image. Uh, I guess they added them into the image because it broke up the uh, the wall and the water and just made it look a lot nicer, a lot more green. Uh, I bet these would be a bit of a pain for people with boats though because uh, they would tend to get caught in uh, propellers and stuff like that and rudders and just clog up the the engine but they look nice and they look nice in the game those ones float on the uh, 
surface of the water and fit in very nicely here. So as you can see, I ended up not liking King Leno's uh, wools, so I ended up using Ronix's, uh, I believe they're just his dock wools, and then I don't really like the texture, so I stick another wool on top of that, like in front of his wool, to give it a different front, because I like the top to have a grey texture and the front to have a sort of brick texture. For the sort of part where people walk down to their uh, their docked boat, and right now I'm creating that uh, that place where people can can dock their boats. I use uh, Los Gecko's industrial floor plates, I believe, to uh, create the sort of mesh on the floor that you tend to see in uh, at docks and marinas and stuff like that, where people, where public people where people will park their boats uh, you tend to see this sort of mesh as you see I'm placing out a lot of the boats now just seeing which boat will best fit in this area here and I just use the speed boat and I go for a bit bit more detailing with some ladders and uh, a couple of these props that Ronix has uh, made some tire props and uh, some places where people tie up their boats uh, I don't know 100% what those are called, where people tie up their boats, but that's that's what I'm placing there right now. So here you can see I've changed the texture on the sunken plaza out front, and I'm adding the decals to either side of the either side of the houses, and in the middle I leave the sort of red strip as a sort of guidance to guide people along down to the bottom plaza and I use the same trick I used in the previous video where I uh, broke up the two different textures by using the uh, the curbs by Ronix they fit in very nicely and just they, they break it up in the center of the uh, sort of plaza I suppose in the middle of the two buildings there is this shared walkway area that's uh, Pedestrian only, no cars. So I had a lot of trees, a lot of uh, these bigger planters. Uh, I did realise that these planters were a tiny bit big. After looking at them like down close on real on street level, and then seeing that people were basically smaller than these planters, so I ended up sinking them into the ground uh, because then you could see the tree more clearly and the planter wasn't taking up the entire bottom half of the tree. It looked very nice. You can see there sort of that these tr planters are actually huge uh, compared to people. It's very hard to find a scale when you're looking down from the sky. Um, that's why it's, I find it always easier to build off Google Maps because you're looking at it from the same uh, like perspective as you do within City Skylines, like building something from a picture or just tends to be diff more difficult because uh, at ground level it's very hard to get a real scale of the builds and just tends to look a bit strange. So here I am using the new uh, like wool growing plants from the DLC. These actually came with the free update because I don't actually have green cities. Uh, I'm waiting for it to go on sale. I'm not going to buy it at full price. It's not worth it. If you're thinking about buying green cities, it's not worth it. It's not worth the price. Unless you really, really want to make a really green city, it's not worth it. But as you can see here, this is technically like a green project and it looks very nice. I'm just using stuff from the workshop and a bit of the new DLC stuff that came free with the game. So if you own City Skylines, you will have these uh, sort of bushes and uh, hanging plants on the walls. I had a ton of benches up and down the uh, the shared plaza in the centre, just to sort of try and create uh, a place where people would sit sit outside, uh, interact with other people within their community. But obviously, this is just a game. They don't 
actually interact with anyone, but it's just uh, to try and keep some sense of realism. So I had two style of docks uh, to this build. I had obviously you've seen the first one, and now I'm building the second here. These are slightly bigger, and for bigger, they're for like big yachts and uh, bigger speed boats, sort of pleasure craft, I believe they're called. It's pretty much the same thing as as the other one, just a bit a bit more uh, a bit more wide, a bit more detail on the uh, on the deck. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Way I think they